Assalamu alaikum students this is Majid Tahir your teacher for computer science this is part 2 of the video which is going to talk about the functions earlier we have studied procedures you will see the video of procedure in the description box so that you can refer to the procedures also now we're going to see how the function works so pseudocode for function is actually the function name function keyword tells you that you're creating a function name of the function the parameter of the function the data type of the function and then return data type whatever data type function will return is uh, written over here over here return data type function body whatever function wants to do whatever you want to do in the function and then end function uh, is the keyword so this is how uh, so this is how this is going to work let's move forward pseudocode of the function so we are making a function square by val num data type integer returns integer square is equal to num into num this very important thing to uh, see over here is that we are not applying a value uh, to a variable or a parameter but we are giving a value over here as you can see this one number into number number is the parameter so number is getting multiplied by number and the value is given to square now square is the name of function so what it, this means that square is going to store a value which will be returned of integer data type so when we talked about function returning a value means that function actually stores a value just function has a value that it returns to the program let's move forward and see another function it says function sum by val a as integer by val b as integer returns integer now sum is equal to a plus b and return sum this return sum is going to be returned to the main program the main program says begin declare number value one value two integer print please input a number for its square it will be printed for the user please input a number for its square and user is going to input a value in the number another prompt square of the number is and then over here in the another output square of the number is going to be displayed so call to the function is made to call square square is the name of the function we can see that and number is this value which is being uh, given to function as a parameter so it will give the value to this number and then square is going to be number into number so whatever value square had will be displayed over here with the, the with this output command Moving forward, we have please input number one and number two for sum. So user inputs value one and value two, which we have declared. And again, sum is, and we called the, the variable sum again. Call sum is going to call this function. Value one is going to be applying value to this A. Value B is going to be applying value to this B. And uh, A plus B is going to be added and given to sum sum is actually the name of the function which will return the value of integer data type integer data type in the program so it says sum is and whatever value the sum was storing will be displayed in this line and the program is ending so if you see um, sorry for this mess of lines over here so when the program was uh, over here it says uh, input a number so user has input 7 so it basically uh, square of number is or whatever value is 49 so uh, the, the call to the procedure was the call to the function i'm sorry the, the call to the function was called uh, in this displayed uh, 49 input value 1 is this and value 2 is this so input user has input uh, 25 and 35 and then call again or to the function was made and the sum is displayed over here so this is how the program is going to work uh, in the function uh, the same exact code is going to be the code for the uh, visual basics uh, so this is the code for vb uh, exactly the same as we have just seen function return data type of the function uh, now over here return sum is not written or return square is not written in visual basics if you, even if you don't write this is basically the return command that x is multiplied by x and value is given to square which is the name of the function uh, the second one sum 
parameter a and parameter b sum is equal to a plus b return sum is basically returning the value to the program which is in storing inside the sum and then this is the main program number value one value two user has declared three variables um, in number for its square user will input a number in input uh, square will be displayed the call to the function is this is the call to the function and then again two values are uh, being uh, asked to the user to input value 1 value 2 which is done in value 1 value 2 so again sum is and then call of the uh, I think there's uh, some misprinting over here so this is going to be sum sum is going to be written over here sum and then call to the sum is done by like value 1 value 2 value 1 will be given to a value 2 will be given to b and then uh, output will be displayed now let's see how what is going to be output of this program uh, let's see that so when you uh, actually this is the main program that you're looking at right now this is a screenshot of the program so actually actually this is the main program uh, that you're looking right now a uh, main uh, screenshot of the program so as you can see that function square is made this is return data type uh, this is the value being returned to the function uh, another function being made this is return data type sum is given by val a by val b uh, main program says declaration of these three variables this is the call to the first function this is the call to the second function when you do that uh, the same like i've explained in the pseudo code the program says input a number uh, which was this line so input a number user has input 20 and then square of and the function was called and square of x is equal to 400 which is basically this one it was called and it displayed the value input value 1 input value 2 which is done over here and then function was called a sum is uh, the displayed and then uh, this function was called and the value inside the function was 55 so it is displayed 55 so this is uh, when you talk about return data type is meaning that function actually keeps a value that it returns to the program pseudocodes of procedures do not work like that procedures do not keep a value in their name uh, rather procedure needs a variable inside uh, the procedure or a parameter to store the value now this is it for functions and procedures I, ho I hope you have understood the concept please like and subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you can uh, be notified for the upcoming videos thank you so much Allah Hafiz